Hello everyone, Stefano here from Soto Zen channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the child of bone constraint in character animation. And before we start, I would like to apologize for a couple of things. The first one is you probably will hear a constant background little noise and that's my heater, my pellet heater because here I'm on winter mode I hope that it will not too bad and the second thing is is that uh, as you can probably hear from my voice I have a little bit uh, sort of um, some seasonal cold so I'm not really fit in these days but I don't want to let too many days pass by so I decided to um, show and share with you this because I'm working on my next 3D animation and I'm working on this I'm working with this little character here okay so what I will show you is we have this simple um, cylinder that I deform along a curve and we pretend that this is some kind of uh, rope and we want this character to walk uh, balanced on this rope while this rope is moving and waving around so um, very basic movement so you see that I can rotate this object let me hide all the unnecessary items so um, R, Y you see that I can rotate this and before we start what we have here is this character and this I rigged with the uh, rigify inside blender we have basic and uh, default control that you get from the rigging process so I won't go deep into this process if you uh, want to learn something about this uh, part you can search for um, a couple of videos that I made uh, regarding the rigging uh, process in Blender so what we want to do here is we want to have this fit to follow in this case this and of course I can try to animate first the rope and then I can try to animate these two fit controllers but it would be a nightmare it would be very very unfriendly uh, instead an easy way that we can do is to let's try to position this in some sort of balanced position I will do this very very quickly so I, I am not um, looking too much into details but something like this when you are balancing you want to have your heel this part of the foot because it is where the body the body weight falls so you want probably to stay in some position like this we can also prepare some sort of basic balanced position we can rise up this hand here and I can Ctrl C and Ctrl Shift V to copy and paste the same position on the opposite side let me also rise a little bit the shoulder and control C and control shift V. Oh let me also turn on the screencast. I always forgot this thing sorry. So you can now see here what I'm pressing. Okay so here we are and we have our character in position but now if I rotate uh, the rope of course it is not following so let's fix this let's go back to pose mode 
and by the way I am using the spy menu pressing the tab and I have the post mode under here so what we need now is some powerful constraint that allow us to have a parenting relationship between the controlling object of our armature and some scene object like in this case our rope and I'm talking about the child of constraint so let's select this go here under bone constraint and in the relationship tab we have this child of what we have to do now is only to pick the target in this case our rope and we want to do the same child of with the other foot controller okay so if I now go back to object mode already I have something cool and interesting I can now rotate the rope and two feet are following but let's say that I also want to animate this so I can start by inserting location and rotation keyframe for this and six frame ahead let me prepare to move the body and then one two three four frame later I want this to rise up and this one you can see I can move and I want this to go outside and this little bit balancing on the other leg probably so let's insert another rotation and location keyframe and then one two three four this is still going a little bit up and probably this one is preparing to reach again for the rope okay probably a little bit this I don't know I'm doing this very quickly so don't take this as an animation tutorial and then one two three frames ahead I want this foot to reach the uh, the rope probably we can do it this way and let's balance back the body a little bit we can set another keyframe here one, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's complete one second animation. We can go a little bit down and back again in this part. Okay, so let me set the end frame to 24. We have this very, very simple animation, and if we go back to object mode I can select I can select the uh, rope object and I can rotate and simulate some wind movement while my animation is still working and following the rope okay so this is a very nice and useful way to use the um, child of bone constraint so I really hope that this was somehow useful and if so please leave a like or a comment with any kind of request you may have uh, regarding 3D animation. I will try my best to answer to you as soon as I can. Follow me also on my main YouTube channel Soto Zen. Visit my Patreon page. Special thanks to my patrons for their kind support. 
And as always, thanks so much for watching and see you here very soon with another great video. Ciao!